Create a table of values for the exponential equation y equals 2 times 2 to the x. Now this is one strategy for helping us graph an exponential equation, or any equation really. Just plot out a table of values and connect the dots to see at least a general shape of what you're going to get. So let's check this out for some uh, picked values of x. I selected negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2 because those are easy numbers to work with. So if I plug in negative 2 uh, to this equation, I get y equals 2 times 2 to the negative 2, which equals 2 over 2 squared, which equals 2 over 4, which equals 1 half. So y equals 1 half when x equals negative 2. What about when y equals, sorry, when x equals negative 1, let's plug that in, y equals 2 times 2 to the negative 1, and that gives us 2 over 2, which equals 1, so y equals 1 when x equals negative 1, and if I continue plugging in the rest of my values, I can see that y equals 2 when x equals 0, y equals 4 when x equals 1, and y equals 8 when x equals 2. Let's try another one. This one involves a fraction as the base of the exponent, which means we're going to see exponential decay over here. So let's plug in negative 2 for x. y equals 6 times 1 half to the negative 2, which equals 6 times 1 over 2 to the negative 2, because 1 to the negative 2 is just going to be negative 2. That equals 6 times 2 squared. You have to flip and bring the denominator up top because we have a negative exponent, which equals 6 times 4, which is 24. And I can similarly plug in the other x values, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And I find that at negative 1, y is going to equal 12. At 0, y is going to equal 6. At 1, y will equal 3. And at 2, y will equal 3 over 2. So these values for, x, for this equation, as x is getting larger, y is actually decreasing.